All right, this boy Bellamy better not lay a finger on Cricket. I will throw hands. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jack the Buster. I Shinobi. We have episodes 150 and 151 of our One Piece watch through today. Our crew has been slowly trying to find their way to this sky island, making an acquaintance with uh with Cricket and these two monkey brothers. Very kind folk. And since they have to find this bird before tomorrow to lead them to the only place they can get to Sky Island from, it appears to be very bad timing because Bellamy has made land and he has come for gold. If you're new to the channel, chop us up and hit that big boy bell and let's hop right into the episodes <laughs> oh my god wait did that look did that small bug do that oh i thought zoro stepped in oh what the hell is a praying mantis dude this bird is evil the bugs control tower i think they have their hands a little too full in here what are those meatballs i think they're bugs dung beetles oh giant ladybugs excellent wait they act this bird actually does control just everything it's crying <laughs> oh my gosh he's trying to teach them a lesson yeah i feel like robin could just reach out and grab i guess she doesn't know where it is they're actually throwing salt oh my god you gonna fight bugs thank god chopper is here oh they're pretty until they're gigantic what the hell is this forest and why did cricket not warn them more about the like the abs absurd things going on here sorry yama alliance they said that name last episode i think oh he he handles him he handles him easy peasy that's why i like to see cricket at a boy is not used his giant blade yet hell yeah boys what i'm talking about kind of a weenie approach this needs one opening god dang dude cricket's smooth with it I just put him down <laughs> the disrespect too okay okay what is this soundtrack oh my god wait his legs turn into springs wait that's actually badass though oh no oh Wait, you missed. Wait, that's just more power. No! This is more power for him to launch with. Oh, damn. Oh, my gosh. Mary and Cricket, I guess. <laughs> Who are you laughing for, bro? You got stomped. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, this is so sad. I didn't take long at all. I mean, Bellamy was literally the only one that could take you guys down. Oh, no. The... The three. Oh man. Like you said, to him, gold that people struggled to find or get tastes better to him. It's more flavor. Oh no. Oh. No shot does Masura die from that. Oh. Shoujo, stay down, dude! Oh. Where did Mans get the mic from? And where are the speakers? Hey, he doesn't need speakers, we've seen. Oh my god. Damn, actually ruptured the earth. Does that not affect him? That's such a cool power, though. Boy, he's not even remotely affected by it. Oh no. Oh god. Oh my god. Damn, mo both monkey brothers are down. It's all up to Cricket. Surely Luffy and them will hear. The only ones that also thought it did. <laughs> He's not one to just let them leave before he's hunted for all this time. 
God, Bellamy looks so crazed all the time. Tell me he's not dead, bro. If he is, and if both monkey brothers are dead, I think it's a waste. They're, they're too cool. Also, I just like their dynamic with Cricket, though. Oh my God, Robin's on the page. Guys, you have to get back. Please, please, dude. Zilch. Okay, you didn't catch one either. Like I said, I think Robin is really holding out on us, honestly. It's right there. Luffy, stretch right now, swipe it, and you just go. You don't want to kill it. Yeah. Thank you. That's what I've been waiting for. My God. Oh, Bellamy's already gone. Damn, they did already leave. And going Mary. Okay, they're not dead. They're definitely not dead. It's destroyed, bro. Boy, he's apologizing. Damn, even though this all everything was taken, he's still trying to get them on their mission. A real one. Cricket. He's like, we got it. Dude barely even seems concerned with what happened. Whole house destroyed. He doesn't want them to have to worry about it because he wants them to get to where they're going. And they know that symbol. Mm -hmm. Oh no, Luffy's pissed. One help? Damn! <laughs> Zoro's just right on board with him. He doesn't need three hours. Oh my god. Giga Chad Luffy's like, I'll be back. Nothing else is gonna stop him right now. <laughs> oh, this should be good. Is this the is that the the sniper? Oh no, he's part of Bellamy's crew. He's gonna run into Luffy. Oh, newsbird. Oh my God, wait, is it gonna be Luffy's new bounty? Oh. Oh wait, yeah, it might be. Oh no. Oh no, they're gonna know. Oh. Oh no, it's the update. He's gonna realize how fat it is. He's like, oh, that's crazy. No, surely it doesn't actually say this. <laughs> He's reading it over and over again. Do they know they're not messing around? It's not like you just get a bounty from nothing, dude. From how seriously people take it, they, you, you don't, you have to earn that bounty. A hundred mil? That's much larger than Bellamy's. Everything that's pushed him is pushing Luffy now. It feels so good to see Luffy go all out against Bellamy while like, when he was holding back before. Oh no, he's coming. Okay, you could say you and Bellamy. Yeah, 55 mil. That'd be crazy if someone worth more stepped in. Oh no. <laughs> I wonder if he's even gonna phase Bellamy. Or he's gonna realize that Luffy was just holding back. I love how he's just straight up running, bro. Oh my gosh, come on, dude. Get out of the way. What a random nuisance. Oh my God, they're gonna follow him. <gasps> <laughs> dun, dun, duh. Like I said, I wonder if Bellamy will even be phased by it or not. I don't think he, I think he's kind of mad that he's even being like compared to them. Beat the bugs up. <laughs> he's laughing. Like I said, I'm not shocked that he's not, not going to be just, or that he's just like, oh yeah, like maybe they're not worth the bounty that they actually have. Oh man, he, he lacks very critical information. You think these are fakes? That's a good strat, honestly. What is the guy with the spiral? What the, what, what is that? That actually does make sense that people would fake bounties just to try and make a name for themselves. Although, like, since we haven't seen any newspaper posts or, it, you know, like any articles or... Well, but I mean, didn't someone say they heard about a, a warlord falling, but they just didn't know who to? I'm pretty sure that was, like, published news. Because uh, Masara, one of the one of the apes, was trying to take that place or something. 
<laughs> oh man. And Bellamy's got enough of an ego to take him on, especially after putting him down so easily the first time. Oh my god. <laughs> He's like Batman. Or what? Hey, Luffy's got the dark shadows under his eyes. You know he means business. Also, I love the concept of Luffy just standing on rooftops looking for him. And then eventually he just got so fed up. He said, hey, where are you? 151, let's get it. I knew he was just going to try and spring up right away. He's, he's matching his height. Okay, this could actually be a pretty sick fight. Depending on how strong Bellamy is. Yeah, he's, he's kind of right. Kind of right. Oh. Uh, he's kind of right. Yeah, that's kind of right. Yeah. He's also a pirate. He can steal it if he wants to. Oh, that's sick. That's a cool shot. Give me a fight. I honestly don't want Luffy to put him down like right away. I hope it takes a little bit more. No way is he asking him this. I know he thinks his bounty is fake, but still. Oh. He knows in his heart. He's like, this, this, this is not fake, bro. How would it be real if it was delivered by a bird? Like an official one. That's the scary part. He looks like a normal guy. Relatively. Well, he's not planning on it. What the? It's such a cool concept, though. I think Luffy's gonna put him in his place very quickly. Because he doesn't even know what Luffy does yet. He doesn't know what he stretches. And as soon as he realizes Luffy has an ounce of the power that he has, I think he's gonna get terrified. This one guy with the poster is still terrified. Imagine Luffy putting Bellamy down in front of his entire crew. Like just the collapse of an ego. God damn, he's fast though. Well, when Luffy's quiet, you best be scared. Oh! He actually got a good hit in. But that's not even gonna hurt Luffy, like falling and get hit, like getting hit that hard. He just needs to throw one punch. He hasn't even thrown a punch yet. Maybe he wants to hide his hand. He's doing it on purpose too. Oh, he's perfectly fine. All right, he survived much more. I feel like Bellamy's also holding back though. Like maybe his, his arms can turn into it. That's so cool, dude. Oh my God. He's so fast. Oh my God. Natural born morons. Ooh. Oh, he is actually making him real mad. <laughs> Imagine it takes one single hit, just snipes him. just killed him like actually hey you're strong right why don't you fight he's realizing that it's a real bounty and why it's real bro is trembling in his boots oh no 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 anybody else want to defy luffy <laughs> oh my god it's almost like bellamy hurt himself because he sprung towards him with such speed that he almost just ran into luffy's fist in a sort of way he just had to punch down oh look at them at work yeah they're fine yeah they feel immortal because they have a mission at hand a dream of sorts <laughs> Luffy's kind of taught Zoro to put his own ego aside. They were like flies to them. I just want Luffy to come walking back, bro. Oh, there he goes. Why well, didn't have to lay a finger on anyone else? 
<laughs> yep, just follow me. A fluke? You have to be joking. You have to give him props. <laughs> Where am I going? Yeah, up there. He's so straightforward, but so intimidating to them since they don't know who he is. He doesn't even have to try. Oh. We check it in again. Yes, I can fanboy. I think he's more intrigued by it. Yeah, Zoro growing stronger. He told him to. That feels like a lifetime ago. Also, Zoro is a lot stronger now. The whole fight with Mr. One, I think, was Zoro's biggest spike up until this point. Learning to cut steel. They can take it on a warlord. Yeah. He's, like, proud of them. And being a warlord, you have sort of a connection to the government. But, like, it's not like the warlords like to be in cahoots with them or anything. They just... It's more in their benefit. The government doesn't like to be in cahoots with pirates, but it's part of their benefit, too. Holy Land of Marie Joy. Oh, the Holy Land was where we flashed to before. Red hair. Hmm. Red hair to make Five elder stars? Red hair is Shanks. Oh, they gotta replace Crocodile. Three great powers? This feels like such a fat lore dump. They've called every warlord? We don't know a majority of them. Just god dang Mihawk. Oh no. Bro, Luffy has made way too much of a name for himself, bro. He's five elder stars. Don Quixote? Wait! These are warlords? Don Quixote? Bartholomew? Oh my god, 296 million. Oh my god, we're meeting more warlords. What? what is happening? It's somebody else. Suru, great tactician. Do, Flam Do Flamingo. There is no way that's this man's name. Why he look like that? Why he look like Zoro, dude? Why he look like a flashy Zoro? He can make people do whatever they want? Saint Sengoku and his lamb? Oh my gosh. Scum of the sea. <laughs> What the hell? That's Bartholomew, the big guy? Only two showed up? I'm not super shocked uh, that Mihawk wouldn't come. Doesn't seem to care. <laughs> Sheer boredom. <laughs> oh, wait! Is that Mihawk? Looks kind of like his coat. Yeah, he did show up. Wow. Most unexpected man. Why the lamb eating on the table? Why is Do, Fla Do Flamingo on the table? Do is that how you say it? Do Flamingo? Oh. <laughs> is, you is this another warlord? He tap dances. If you explain who the hell you are. Yeah, they did. Oh, are you here to apply? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We do have an, op an opening. Lafitte? Oh, a peace officer. Oh, sounds like he wasn't a great peace officer. Oh, he's come with a recommendation, not an application. My god, what is happening, dog? Who is this? Oh my god, that guy's a unit. Red haired pirates. Oh, oh, these are the red-haired pirates. 
94 mil. <laughs> That's me. Oh, okay. Uh, was that his application? Oh, no, the letter. Oh. oh, it's a white beard ship. That was a letter from Shanks. Oh! oh my god, it's him! What is happening? Shank sent a letter to Whitebeard about Ace and Blackbeard. <laughs> oh! He's a goddamn unit! Oh my god! What is happening? Oh my god, what the what, what the hell is happening, dude? And then we go to Shanks. I'm so exhausted. So you report he's now he's reporting back to Shanks. Shanks seems to have a lot more importance than I previously thought. Especially being close with Mihawk. Life is more important than your pride. <sighs> Oh my. What is Shanks' mission here? He has like his own goal here. It's like he's trying to align people. Or figure out alliances. But Ace is after Blackbeard. Hmm. Oh, he's from Blackbeard's crew. Blackbeard's crew is super small, too, if I remember correctly, after he left Whitebeard's. He was like four or five people. Oh, it's the guy, the champion. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, is that f***ing Blackbeard? What? The Reaper. Doc Q. What? What is this episode? Why is it doing this to me? What the hell is happening? And why is Whitebeard five stories tall? I'm gonna be completely honest. I forgot about everything that had to do with Bellamy in the last episode. We just had Whitebeard revealed to us? Interesting things going on with Shanks and Mihawk and Ace? Like weird lines connecting. I don't understand it. Like I said, Shanks like it with his own sort of plan here. Shanks writing a letter to Whitebeard. And it makes me think again, if, if Whitebeard is considered the world's strongest man and he never became a warlord, it's almost like I feel like he sees himself and he probably is a bow of warlords like he's in his own level his own league and my best guess right now since shanks reached out to whitebeard is shanks trying his best to form some sort of alliance with whitebeard to take on either the government the warlords or to become their own sort of power entity but at the same time the, the whole lines with ace trying to find blackbeard blackbeard killing one of whitebeard's men and leaving it, th that that kind of confuses everything those two confuse everything but he, he's literally a, a giant like he's a a unit what a mammoth of a man this episode delivered everything to me on this beautiful platter and i just ate all that up we had the reveal of two more warlords what were their names don quixote do flamingo and bartholomew kuma so kuma and do flamingo and then a bunch of name drops especially in terms of like the upper echelon of the government too i think little tidbits here and there of people that we will need to know in the future but <laughs> what a lord dumb dude i think this is this is a enormous world building episode trying to set up for these overarching things these overarching people that we're supposed to be like, keep checking in on and i think this is a good sign that we're going to keep checking in on them especially since they've all been revealed now but guys that has been it for episodes 150 and 151 of our one piece watch through absolute bombshell episode do drop a sub on the channel if you are new to not miss any of the rest of the journey and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace peace